channel if you're new here hi i'm jesse thank you so much for stopping by today today's video is gonna be a what's for dinner let's get into it all right it. we are doing these family farms market uh broccoli and cheese bacon wrap stuffed chicken breast that looks so delicious and then jeffrey was a sweetheart and roasted these potatoes in the oven for me you just put them on a sheet pan with some oil and salt and then I put butter, brown sugar, and cinnamon. Oh my gosh, that looks fantastic. This is dinner so in the crock pot. So I put a cup of water on the bottom and there's stew meat and their carrots and a bunch of little baby yellow potatoes cut up. And then I used this um, slow cooker vegetable beef stew seasoning from Orrington Farms. It says to mix this packet with a cup of water. So I did that on top of the extra water. I put extra water in there because I have a lot of carrots and potatoes and I wanna make sure there's enough moisture in there. Um, but this is what it says to do. I don't like celery, so I didn't put that in there. I did put some diced tomatoes in there. I did the fire roasted diced garlic ones. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this on low and then uh, I will come back and show you when it's done. All right, so since I had added the extra cup of water, it is, pretty liquidy. Um, I like a thicker sauce with my stew. So I went ahead and I took two tablespoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. I bumped my crock pot up to high. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in the crock pot, mix it in, and I'll let it kind of hopefully come up to like a little bit of a boil and thicken up. And I will show you when it's all plated up. Does this not look delicious? I'm so excited to eat this. That really nicely. Oh my goodness. This looks so delicious. This is dinner tonight. All right, so we are gonna be making brown sugar Italian pork chops for lunch today. Uh, we're gonna be doing beef stew for dinner. So I just figured I would show you guys lunch to show you another meal option. Um, so you're gonna need some brown sugar. I'm just gonna go ahead and put in probably, no, we'll do two tablespoons of brown sugar. I made my own at home Italian dressing seasoning um, because the ones you buy in the store uh, have gluten in them. So if you're not gluten free, go ahead and just use the regular Italian dressing seasoning packet. Um, this is about a fourth a cup. So it's about the average of like what a packet is. Pour that in there. One of these times, next time I make this, I'm gonna make a video on how I make it. So then if you guys wanna make your own, um, you can. And then we're gonna put some extra virgin olive oil in it. We're gonna do probably, oh, let me mix this up and see. Probably two tablespoons, yeah. Cause you want it to make a paste that you're gonna rub on your pork chop. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that'll be just enough. Usually you'd cook these in the oven. I'm just gonna do it on the stove top today just cause uh, I don't feel like heating up my oven right now just for lunch. Um, I'm going to grab the pork chops and I'll be right back. I only have two pork chops, so if you're gonna do more than that, you're gonna wanna make probably like double or triple the amount of mix that I did. Um, you can always add a little bit more olive oil in there too, and that'll kind of like create more for you. You're just gonna take it, pork chop. And then you're just gonna rub it into your pork chop. To a parent's house, I could stay for hours. And we looked into each other's eyes. Hey, I thought I was wrong. I am gonna spray my pan with just a little bit of cooking spray. That way it doesn't stick to the pan. It shouldn't where there's olive oil in there, but I just wanna be extra careful. All right, we're gonna let our pan heat up and then we'll put our pork chop chops in the pan and then we'll put the rest of the um, seasoning on the other side. All right. All right, so my pan is heated up now. Not fully, but it's heated enough. So we're gonna go ahead and put those face down with the seasoning side down. And we're gonna take the rest of this mixture. And spread it between the two of these. 
guys. You could probably be smart and season both sides before you put it in your pan. <laughs> I'm making it hard on myself. I just didn't want this stuff to get stuck on the plate and not on the pork. So. Perfect. We're gonna let this cook. I'm probably about five minutes each side, and then it'll be done like a minute 37 left, but I'm gonna go ahead and flip these. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and set the timer again, and I'll probably set it for just probably like three and a half minutes, and those will be done. Done. I'm gonna go ahead and set them on the burner back there for right now. They'll cool off and set uh, while I'm making my sweet potato. Jeffrey had made these sweet potatoes the other night. Um, he just roasted them in the oven at what temperature was it? Uh, I'm pretty sure I did 400 for an hour. 400 for an hour. In fact, yes, it was 400 for an hour. And he seasoned it outside. He just sprayed it and then uh, put salt on it. And then I'm just gonna load these up with some butter, some brown sugar, and cinnamon. And I will show you once I'll plate it up. There it is, the pork chop. Oh my goodness, so good. And then I did, I had two sweet potatoes left, so I just wanted to eat them up because it's kind of on their last day. And then I put uh, butter, brown sugar, and cinnamon. Yes, there's a lot of brown sugar and cinnamon, but that is how I like them. <laughs> Not the healthiest, but tastes delicious. There's our lunch today. We are doing leftover beef stew. It is so good. This is dinner tonight. All right, tonight we're doing the filet with the bacon, some barbecue sauce, and mac and cheese. We're doing a late dinner at Kids ate earlier. Me and Jeffrey just decided to cook ours later on. This is dinner tonight. We're doing the Palmero Primo vegetable pizza, and then we put some pepperoni on there. And that is that garlic butter sauce that I showed last week. Thank you so much for coming along with me today. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully it can give you a little inspiration of maybe some meals you want to try. Anyways, give this video a big thumbs up, press that like button, subscribe to my channel, and click that little notification bell button so you're notified every time I post a new video. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Would you hold me tight in the